Today we have here the KTM Duke 790 and you are watching JF Motorcycles in-depth motorcycle reviews. So this is very important bike for KTM for this year, for 2018, because they had a big gap between 690 and 1290, which both are very orthodox and very wild and very like not bikes for everyone let's let's put it let's put things clear and this one has a promise that normal people such as me could be uh, could ride it very easily so this is 790 uh, duke uh, with a new engine maybe we can start here l8c it's called by uh, by ktm and it's a parallel twin but uh actually very special very compact the first parallel twin from ktm we see um and it really has the character of the v-twin of the big v-twin they produce because it has the crank pins 70 or you know crankshaft design is 75 degree moved and also the firing interval is 435 milli, uh, uh, degrees which is also 75 it depends on from which side you interpret it and it really means that despite the fact that pistons are next to each other next to each other it really has the character feeling and tone such as a v-twin no marketing bullshit it's really like that and the sound will prove it it's just one of the nicest sound on the market right now impressive really lovely 105 uh, horsepower so we have like a mid category of 800 cc motorcycle with 105 ho uh, horsepower in 9000 rpm and 87 newton meters in uh, 8000 rpm this is also is this also shows you that this is very modern and effective unit because for example xsr 900 needed uh, 50 cc more to produce such as uh, the same level of newton meters so it's really fun to ride it. Overly, this bike is produced and created, you know, to make fun, of course, to enjoy the life on it. Um, we will, I will speak about the engine in a second more when we ride. Now, if you look at this bike, uh, the the dry weight is 169 kilograms, which is really positive. So it's this is really this really should guarantee the fun you will experience on the road. I like lightweight motorcycles, so this is this is perfect. You can see quite compact, you know, engine space and then like a longer swing arm. So the overall wheelbase is actually longer than its average. It's longer like three centimeters more than, for example, XSR 900 and which gives you more stability in the corners we will i will show you this one in a second overall very lightweight very nimble motorcycle very modern you can see it from the design so there are lots of very untraditional aspects and points of this motorcycle uh, we are probably used to it the lights of the ktm right now so this is nothing new it's led it's very good very powerful led blinkers <laughs> this is this is really nice we have adjustable levers brake and clutch which is nice overly very fun to ride very nimble very lightweight with impressive engine great sound it's like we twin but it's very way more lighter and also very modern so we have here tft which is smaller than on 390 which is surprise for me and here on the tft you can adjust every setting of the motorcycle so first of all we have here uh three uh, riding modes sport street rain which not only influence the throttle response but uh, but mainly the functionality of the traction control and then we can choose the track and here you can set up everything custom as you want so you can turn off the anti wheelie you can turn on the lounge control which works perfect and also uh, choose your own track throttle response also what else you can do uh, you can adjust you can t manually turn off the traction control abs or set up or turn off abs only on the rear wheel uh, turn off quick shifter which i wouldn't do it because quick shifter is one of the best thing on the motorcycle really and some other some other things as well so from this point of view also no problems very modern motorcycle and for this price tag i think it's very interesting choice so let's go for this amazing gc65 to santa lucia to enjoy it
welcome back on the road, specifically on the road GC65 in Gran Canaria uh, towards a Santa Lucia. It's one of my favorite. It's really designed for the nimble motorcycles and I can tell you straight away that if you have such a road at your home or nearby, nearby your home, you should definitely buy this motorcycle because I have the feelings like it is designed here. It's crazy. <laughs> And that's due to weight, because this only weighs uh, 169 dry weight, which is impressive. Also by an interesting, uh, uh, great suspension by WP. Uh, but the most important thing here is the engine. It really feels like a, B, uh, like a big V-twin. You really feel the rhythm uh, under your seat uh, like a big uh, muscular v-twin which is very positive and also you feel it by sound because this motorcycle sounds like one of the probably best motorcycles on the current market i really can't find a way how they achieve homologation for this one for this stock exhaust and i can't imagine what it does with the akrapovic or something like that it's crazy Especially everything connected with the quick shifter <laughs> you can hardly experience more fun than on this bike really and I rode in I ridden about 50 bikes this year and tested on my YouTube channel JF motorcycle so you can go and see it I mostly compare this bike with the Yamaha XSR 900 which I am owner of and uh, I can tell you that this bike like this KTM has better sound way better uh, uh, way better traction control and all the modern technologies in the bike and also the quick shifter it's just something I absolutely miss on the Yamaha now let's start from the beginning so the seating position is way more sportier or sportier than on the Yamaha XSR you see you have more weight on the on your hands in the front and you're sitting less straight than on the Yamaha uh, more ready to race which is KTM right uh, but I fit better actually on the KTM which has less uh, lower like lower seat height like just five millimeters difference but I feel better here on KTM because my legs because of the shape of the tank I can sit here relax with no problems but the seat is a little bit hard that's for sure and uh, you will feel it after maybe 150 kilometers but to overly it's all okay so back to the engine uh, 80cc uh, parallel twin which really feels and sounds like a v-twin has its own head and it really reminds me not only v-twin but also the single cylinder from KTM because mainly because it only works in like 3000 to 9.5000 or maybe it starts at 2.8 but not less and uh, and you really need to shift quite often and just sometimes you have a high like for example now I would go 40 on a, on a fifth fork gear and it works it accelerates but slowly and it, it wants you to gear down and maybe some other bike would be away so um, if you are asking about like traveling again maybe I would choose XSR 900 or some other bikes because it would be more comfortable uh, you would sit more straight maybe it would have a little bit better uh, dynamics in uh, higher speeds on the other hand I, I was riding this one 170 kilometers per hour on the highway with no problems so it's possible because this bike wants you to go fast and it has everything uh, designed to go fast and have fun in the corners uh, it is super fast but uh, we were comparing it yesterday with the XSR 900 the three cylinder 115 uh, horsepower and despite the fact that the XSR was about 10 kilos more heavy uh, it was faster it was faster when we were trying elasticity from maybe 90 100 kilometers per hour or even 130 on different gears every time XSR surprisingly was faster but uh, if we really compare the fun factor I would tell you that XSR leads it it's just amazing the huge portion of it is the sound which is great and also uh, we must not forget as uh, for the beautiful beautiful quick shifter now 
also there is inertial unit which gives you know more signals uh, to the traction control and also to uh, cornering ABS which is there so this this bike is packed by the modern technologies which really uh, keeps you safe <laughs> on the track or on the road whatever you whatever you want there are Maxxis tires which are criticized online so maybe some people will change it but for me when I ride normally I, I don't have any any problems with, with the tires nor with the brakes which are marked or labeled as KTM but inside it's a Spanish uh, manufacturer called Juan and uh, I think they do a great job but uh, yeah I mean in terms of braking power definitely okay only you need to use a little bit more strength for example than uh, you would do on the XSR cornering it's probably the, the most important characteristic or skill of this motorcycle and it call, they call it scalpel so I was thinking about it like what it should mean and it's probably like very exact bike so wherever you put it it will stay in the position and it's probably also due to the fact that the wheelbase is longer it has a long swing arm if you look at it from the back uh, the wheelbase is longer than it's usual in the class it's about three centimeters more than XSR 900 and it really means that it's a little bit more difficult to change the direction it's not that automatic that easy that it is on the Yamaha but once you are in the corner it's actually more stable that's for sure <laughs> the quick shifter will never get me bored <laughs> this is so cool so let's find some conclusion I'm sure that for this price tag you will very hardly find this amount of fun in any other bike it's really impressive fun to ride it I'm very happy about all the things like inertial unit and all the riding modes uh, very capable traction control which really saves your back I am very happy about the sound which is it doesn't have much competition on the market to be honest um, the other thing is quick shifter which works way better than on the Yamaha uh, MT-09 or let's say maybe uh, the BMW Enduros where I tested it recently like 850 GS or 1250 GS it's just really really pure fun I like the light the LED light and LED blinkers they are lovely <laughs> I like all the ready to race marketing and seating position that's all okay only if I can tell you that if you are looking for the primary bike which you will take for a longer trip as well with your girlfriend maybe uh, or <laughs> with your boyfriend it's uh, maybe this is not the one like uh, there are more comfortable bikes for example the XSR 900 we were testing yesterday uh, bike like these two bikes uh, next to each other and I can tell you that, that it's more comfortable uh, the Yamaha because also the suspension it's very sporty here and if you have good asphalt it's all okay but for commuting or anything like that only if you are real fun of this bike and if you are I can absolutely imagine that and understand it because this unit LHC this parallel twin is really really tasty um, so this was my test of the KTM 790 Duke it was really a pleasure there are rumors that there should be supposed to be the R version very soon on the market so let's see it on ECMA and uh, big thanks uh, big thanks to uh, uh, the Valse bike which is the local dealer here on Gran Canaria uh, for renting me or leaving me lending me this bike for the, for the review it was really a pleasure thank you very much and bye